Hello, my friend, dear Rosary. It's a great pleasure for me to accept your invitation and to be here speaking to you today. Thank you, Charter President Sandeep Law and President-elect Rizetto Falk for your hospitality and fellowship. My name is Dr. Andres Justi. I am a Rotarian and I live in the city of São Carlos, São Paulo, Brazil. The main reason I am here today is to speak to you about the Rotary Youth Exchange Program and how thanks to it I came into Rotary. I would therefore like to share my fantastic experience with this program with you. In 2001, my wife and I wanted our oldest son, André, 14 years old at that time, to participate in a youth exchange year. Then, someone told us the best program is the Rotary program, because they are volunteers, not professional families. Then, I asked a friend of mine, Rotarian, about it, and he invited me to join to Rotary. At that time, I didn't have any idea on how powerful and how big Rotary is. Since the beginning, I started to participate in district trainings for parents, students, and host families, and with meetings. I became more enthusiastic with not only the youth exchange program, but with Rotary itself. In 2006, when André was finished his youth exchange year in Ithaca, New York, District 717, United States, we had the opportunity to visit him and personally experience the internationality of Rotary and how you can feel at home miles away from home and feel amongst old friends even if you just met them for the first time. I experienced the same thing two years later with our youngest son Lorenzo in Holland, Michigan. My enthusiasm and the desire to serve Rotary grew so much that in 2010-2011 I became the straight lover. It was a wonderful experience and at this point I had the opportunity to learn more about all Rotary programs. Now I think that Youth Exchange Program is one of the most important actions in Rotary. I have been chairman of Youth Exchange Program since 2011, and ever since, this belief gets stronger every day. Rotary is going through great transformations. The Rotary Club of District 3170 is an excellent example of how Rotary is being modernized. I also believe that there is nobody better in the world than the Youth Exchange Program students to help us energize and revitalize our organization and to also spread the word about what Rotary does. When the program started in 1927, the communication challenges were enormous compared today. Even in 1972, when the Rotary International Board of Directors agreed to recommend youth exchange to clubs worldwide as a worthwhile international activity that promotes global peace and understanding, when a Brazilian student went to the United States, a letter could take more than 20 days to get to destination and take the same amount of time to come back with the answer. Phone calls were too expensive and internet did not exist. 
Nowadays, they can experience living abroad and still be in contact with the world while sharing the experience like this one. It is a Facebook posting from an exchange student from District 7170 in Brazil for whom my wife and I were chaperones for in the Amazon this past week. He wrote, This past week I had the amazing privilege of traveling to Amazonia with over 70 other exchange students from all over the world. I say without exaggeration that it was the best week of my life. The things I felt and the people I met on the trip were all incredible and I can honestly say that why sorry, that my life will be forever different. Between exploring caves at night, sleeping in hammocks, swimming with the Amazon River dolphins, visiting an Indian village, catching caimans, hiking, swimming and canoeing. I feel like make my exchange is complete. And now I know that the 2012 Amazon expedition was the highlight. I met amazing new friends who feel like family, who I grew so close to, that just days before I had never even heard of. I broke down into tears when we slept in the rainforest just out of sheer happiness. Ever since I was a child, I had wanted to visit the Amazon, and I couldn't think of any better situation than with the world's most amazing people. I can't describe enough how important this trip was to me. Not that I just got to visit the Amazon, but that I feel stronger and more empowered now than at any other point in my exchange. I remember the second night standing under a waterfall in the middle of the forest. I never don't believe in spirit. But from that moment on, I have felt completely different. I have never felt so close or so at home anywhere else. Hopefully, I will soon come back to Amazon. We all need to do everything we can to save it. Some may think of it as just a forest, but its importance to the world as a wall is incomparable. As I saw on a guide's shirt, if we are protected the Amazon, it will protect us. I want to say to every sing single person involved in the trip that I know that when I go home, everything I do will work towards saving and preserving this region. The trees we all planted there just yesterday are reminders of how we can all do our part to protect Amazon. During the last two years, I have participated in many youth exchange program international meetings with people who also believe that the most powerful force in the promotion of international understanding and peace is exposure to different cultures, and that the world does become a smaller, friendlier place when we learn that all people, regardless of nationality, desire the same basic things a safe, comfortable environment that allows for a rich and satisfying life 
for our children and ourselves. I can see that there are many Rotarians passionate about the problem like myself and working hard for it to become better every day. But my will is that each Rotarian could share this feeling and help us to disseminate how amazing it is. We are waiting for you in Brazil in our District 45 points. Thank you all very much.